Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine coming to you with a weekly podcast of the Common Sense MD. Do you notice my shirt I have on today? It says biohacker. Really, as a medical doctor in integrated medicine, that's what I am, a biohacker. I'm trying to hack ways into better health for you because we live in a toxic world full of diseases, full of autoimmune diseases, which we're going to talk about today. Um, So... I saw this, you might be interested in looking at this, because I see patients all the time that come to me with this complaint, I don't know what I have. And I see that every day. And these are the kind of patients that have struggled for years with fatigue, brain fog, pain. Think about why somebody goes to a doctor in the first place, unless it's a sore throat, UTI, you know, whatever, routine physical. It's usually because either they're tired or they hurt. And so, you know, I think a lot of that is unknown. They've been to multiple doctors, sometimes including rheumatologists, which are hard to get into. And a lot of times they can't tell you what you have either, to be honest with you. That's why I'd hate to be a rheumatologist because it's tough. They're dealing with chronic pain, and over half the time they can't really pin it down to to why you're hurting. That's when they call it fibromyalgia, uh, which I think is a real disease, but there's no test for it. So I've seen patients through the years, you know, doctors dread that, oh, I've got a fibromyalgia patient. And if you try to send one of those to a rheumatologist, they probably won't even see them. They don't want to deal with it. And, you know, you can't blame them in a way because they don't have the tools to get them better. And they're frustrating patients because they all get some overlapping psychological problems. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a patient with fibro that didn't have some kind of anxiety, depression going on, usually women. But in any event, we're going to talk about autoimmune diseases because um, we have a new test that can kind of help us with this a little bit. Uh, And Andy and Margo are going to talk to you about it because they're the experts. Margo is our go-to autoimmune person. And autoimmune means your body's reacting against itself. So, and a lot of times we don't know why that happens or what to do about it because all the tests have been normal. So now we have this new test that will help us. I I can't tell you how many patients I've had with autoimmune diseases that I do the test and their ANA comes back positive. And yet they don't have lupus. So there's got to be a better way. So we end up saying, well, you may or may not have lupus. We'll send you to the rheumatologist who will promptly tell you you don't have lupus. So now, and what about Sjogren's? What about rheumatoid arthritis? Is it fibromyalgia? What is it? So in, in any event, we have a new test that will kind of help us with that because we do have treatment plans for this, and it is treatable. So we can kind of biohack your way to better health. So anyway, I, I do want Andy and Margot to talk to you about this new test. It may be useful for you. So uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, we got that beautiful intro from Dad, Dr. Rogers, and I'm with one of the beautiful and most talented PAs, Margo. Thank you so much for coming back to the podcast. I'm happy to be here. And we are going to talk about autoimmunity. This is really exciting because this is really new for us. It's almost brand new, which is amazing. Margo has used this test actually when she lived in Atlanta and wanted to bring it on to the performance medicine uh, diagnostics because there's not really that great of testing for autoimmunity. And Margo is our autoimmune expert. Uh, we have CellCore, we have GI Map, a test and parasite cleanse that you can do with Margo. And now we have another great tool. We're just getting a bunch of carrots for you, okay? Yeah, These are I'm great so carrots. I love that. This is a tool called Abise Testing, A-B-I-S-E, from Exogen. That's the Exogen company. So this is a very detailed look at lupus. How many patients have you talked to that think they have lupus or think they have an autoimmunity or they don't know what they have? Several. So many patients, especially because I see so many Hashimoto's patients, and it's very likely to develop a second autoimmune disease when you already have one. Yeah, so to, so it's it's um, I think it's a very difficult road to navigate, and I explain that to patients too because I believe there's 105 or 106 autoimmune diseases, including COVID long haulers, and the list keeps going up. 105 or 106 
all each with individual markers. It's not just A and A. A and A is the one marker that you would probably get drawn at a traditional health clinic. You're going to get more detail at a rheumatologist. The hard part is access, getting into a rheumatologist or having some ANAs that aren't positive enough. It's almost like you're sick, but not sick enough to get into a specialist to really dive deeper. And we might have an answer for that. So tell yes. us a little bit more about advice testing and what you see. So the advice panel that we will be bringing on is advice CTD. So we're not just looking at lupus. We're looking at a whole family of connective tissue diseases that are autoimmune in nature, um, as well as associated autoimmune disease. So Sjogren's, Hashi Hashimoto's, um, there's just... Rheumatoid arthritis. RA. Vasculitis. Yes. yes. Antiphospholipid. Like you, the stuff that I, I was amazed on here, because it makes you go back, almost like going back to school, like what's anti-Ro and anti-law? <laughs> and anti-SSA and anti-SSB and yes. anti-Joe yes. complement testing. Um, so much of it. This is a very detailed look. And we kind of have an example of what this is not a real patient. But if I can take this, mm -hmm. this is kind of a printout. And this is honestly a shortened, condensed printout because yes. you get actually a lot more testing than this. Um, it's it's really, and it also goes over your thyroid antibodies too. Thyroglobulin yes. antibodies and TPO. Both, and it's so important to test for both. And it's so important to test for both. So this is a really comprehensive look. And whenever we were thinking about bringing this on, how many times did I ask you, what are we going to do about it? <laughs> like, what do we do when we get Several. this test back? So like, tell me, tell me kind of some of the process of what we might do with patients whenever we get this test back. Sure. So the great thing about this test, other than the wide number of um, autoantibodies that it tests for, is the specificity and sensitivity of the ANA. So they are able to calculate... Um, an ANA that's positive at a much lower level and titrate up to a much higher level. So you have a very specific result. And with all, with all of this information, if several things are positive, we can get you into rheumatology quicker, but we can also use this as a marker to test and, and make sure that we are reversing any autoimmunity and inflammation that's developed. So it pairs really well with the cell core cleanse to, you know, we're trying to eradicate any sort of pathogen going on in the system that can raise your autoantibodies and then rechecking and making sure all of those antibodies are trending down in the right direction, that we're doing the right things, that the LDN is working, for instance. LDN, my favorite. <laughs> if methylene blue is a gift from God, LDN is from the angels. <laughs> I love it. But two, we get to mark we get to mark some of those things, see what it looks like. And even I had a patient the other day, she just wanted to know. People Honestly, just want she answers. just wanted to know because my, my answer before we had something like this, my, my first answer was it's way too complicated. I don't, I, and as a practitioner, I felt overwhelmed to be like, I don't know if I should draw anti uh, sc uh, for scleroderma. This is scleroderma as well. Should I test for scleroderma? Is it just RA? Is it just RF factor? There's a hundred up to 106 autoimmune diseases. So my answer was always, we're most likely going to do something with LDN. We're most likely going to clean up gut. And, and right. it's really nice for patients to actually no, and name it and follow it and it's it's empowering to a patient as someone with an autoimmune disease having an answer knowing exactly where to go is is just such a relief you finally know okay it's not all in my head there's an answer to all of the symptoms I've had, and now let's work on, um, you know, reversing the autoimmunity. Let's monitor our markers and make sure they're trending down. And the relief you get when your autoantibodies trend down. It's, it's amazing. Can't describe it. It's yeah. amazing. After that cell core, we're going to have to do this on you to <laughs> yeah, kind of see. Um, so, too, this, this goes over everything. If you're thinking scleroderma, if you're thinking... Uh, rheumatoid arthritis, if you're thinking lupus, if you're thinking, um, um, scar number, what, what else are we missing on there? Sjogren's. Sjogren's. Yeah. Gosh, Sjogren's. Vasculitis. This is the test for you. To, this will help you get into rheumatology quicker. So we, a lot of rheumatologists are denying some patients right now because the wait list is so long. Yeah, if your ANA is not high enough. Honestly, there's just not enough space to get in a new patient. Which um, is no knock on them. This is no yeah. knock on them. It's just that they have to deal with, they're, they're dealing with a lot more specificity in their testing. We're able to do that and in, out, out of the specialties. And two, the best part about this, this is two tubes of blood. For all this stuff, you would normally think that's like 12 tubes of blood. 
two tubes of blood. We ship it off directly through UPS and it uh, comes back in five days. I would say another great thing about this is that it, it's pretty affordable because of their right. savings program. Right. They've got they've got a great savings program. We'll go over pricing too. If you have individual pricing or questions on that, we'll be able to answer that through the Fountain City Clinic. So please give the Fountain City Clinic a call. We'll have the number down here in this video. Um, they can give you a little bit more detail about what pricing looks like. There's a savings program that nearly everybody would qualify for that drastically reduces the prices. This is for somebody with insurance of any kind. There's only one, I think, Medicare Part B that might not be the one that we go to. Right. Um, but to very, very affordable, less than $200 for tests like this, which is great. Yeah. So we start off with a visit with Margot. So she's going to kind of explain what that testing looks like. We're, we're working on right now how we get all the individual testing and lab draws in each of the offices. Right now we're drop shipping to the Fountain City Clinic, uh, but that should be available and all of our clinics soon so that we can start drawing the tests, shipping off, but we'll be telemedicine in with Margot. So anything else we want to talk about? Yeah, I would say that, you know, on average, autoimmune diseases take at least five years to diagnose just because the symptoms overlap and it can be really difficult to catch. Sometimes the autoantibodies can uh, be negative at time of testing. And then, you know, a couple days later, it could be positive depending on when you have a symptom flare. So that's why this test is so great. If you have vague overlapping overlapping symptoms like joint pain, fatigue, uh, uh, even a mildly positive ANA. Gosh, what else? Just oh, so many absolutely. symptoms. Oh, absolutely. Like even skin conditions. Yes. I go through flares of psoriasis. Yeah. And it's like, how do you catch that? I had a patient that literally, she looked like the textbook version of lupus. If she were on our boards, I would have picked lupus every negative test you can think of yeah every negative test so this one specifically with lupus can actually go into a second tier two analyte which actually can give you a positive assessment even with a negative anti-double-stranded dna which is very specific to lupus yes y'all get this test done <laughs> everybody get this test done if you think that hey i don't know what i have and you want to know now is your time and you can do it with us and we can do it quickly which i really like so we have a lot of carrots to dangle for you we have the gi map we have cell core a parasite cleanse and toxins and heavy metals and phthalates uh, and we also now have some more specific autoimmune testing from avise laboratories and exogens so this is um this is a great test yes, yes. i'm so excited to bring this yes so call fountain city call margo she's gonna be your bat woman in this i was like, I was like <laughs> who are you gonna call bat like ghostbusters 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 is autoimmune like, buster autoimmune you are such parasite an autoimmune buster <laughs> parasite buster let's let's get cleansed <laughs> <laughs> i like that let's get cleansed so you heard it here first. We've got some great testing, some great cleanses out there for you through our Fountain City Clinic with Margot. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. We'll have Dr. Rogers down here to close us out. Thanks, Margot and Andy, for that wonderful presentation on diagnosing autoimmune diseases. So now we have a way to help you if you're not sure what's going on with you. Um, so come see, please see Margot if you can't figure out why you're feeling so bad and you think you may have one of these autoimmune diseases. So now we have a quick way to test for it and really pinpoint it down more if you, what kind of problem you may have and then what to do about it. So thanks, Andy and Margot. We'll see you next week.